Here are some notes on static and dynamic lung compliance. Lung compliance measures how easily the lungs expand and contract in response to pressure changes. It's quantified as volume change per unit pressure change. So there's static compliance and dynamic compliance. Let's start with static compliance, or C-STAT, in these equations. It measures the elastic resistance of the lungs, and it's calculated during the absence of airflow using your plateau pressure, your P-plateau. It represents the true tissue elasticity. So static compliance is equal to your tidal volume divided by plateau pressure minus P. So again, TV is your tidal volume, P plateau is your plateau pressure, and PEEP is your positive end expiratory pressure. Dynamic compliance is a little different. It measures elastic resistance in addition to airway resistance. So it also considers airway resistance because it's dynamic. It's calculated during active breathing rather than the absence of airflow. And it's calculated using peak pressure. It's always lower than or equal to your static compliance, and it's affected by your airway resistance and flow rates. The equation for dynamic compliance is tidal volume divided by the difference between peak pressure and PEEP. So again, this P peak is your peak inspiratory pressure. Some notes, static compliance better reflects the true lung mechanics because it eliminates airway resistance. Remember, airway resistance was only a factor in dynamic compliance. Dynamic compliance provides real-time measurements during active breathing. The difference between your static and dynamic compliance, if you're able to calculate both, can help you assess your airway resistance, and a decreased compliance may indicate pulmonary fibrosis, pulmonary edema, ARDS, atelectasis, or pneumonia.